What's up guys, welcome to another Tillandra Farm video. And right now, if you can't tell, we're on the combine. Now I'm giving you a tour of the combine. But first, I'm going to show you some of the damages that happened in the last video up close. So, do not worry, do not spread hate in the comments down below. Because they will pay for the damages. It turns out it was not an electric line. Thank goodness to our, if it did fall, it couldn't hurt anybody. It was a internet line that they had just put in and it, it's not even being used yet so they're gonna fix that pay us for our damages um, they didn't have it 20 feet high or 22 feet li high like standard and our shop which you can hear me echoing is not 20 feet tall but our combine still fits in it so our combine's under 20 feet tall so they didn't have it up the standard. They will be fixing that. So let's go up here. <laughs> Into the grain tank. Now, the way this works is there are these axles that are hooked up to these beans. They'll turn and they'll pull this and fold it in like this and push it back out and fold it out. And they all hook up somewhere, like maybe behind there. Where it's driven. So I'm just gonna walk down in here. Hopefully, not face plant into the augers. Uh, so here's the main auger that brings corn up here from the header that goes into, comes out here, and then when we unload, these turn on and sends it out the main auger, which comes out over there. So here's what I did up close, and if you can't tell, this is carbon fiber. See how stringy it is? It looks like cactus, but this piece of it got ripped off, and there's a metal bracket under there. Put that back in, put the carbon fiber back in, bolted it on, and over here, we use the world's greatest invention since cars or motors. Not sure. Duct tape. So this also came off and it's cracked up here, under here, under this duct tape, and we didn't want corn to get stuck in there, so we took that duct tape and put it on there, and we put, so on here, this metal bar that holds this little sensor that tells us when we're full, that got ripped off, and we put back in, got all the wires put back in. You guys want to see the cab? Dee -dee. Corn cab. So, yeah. That's pretty much what happened there. They will be paying for the new wall. Down onto the fuel tank. Ah, so here is the S670 combine, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the damages. I'll show you the piece that got tore off here. Mm, pretty big. And see how splintery this is? That will give you major splinters and it does not rot or decay or dissolve. So it's a brief fun splinter to have. So yeah, I'll bring you up into the combine. Show you what's up in there. Magnet. Here we are. The way this works, you have brake. Ah, you can't see that. Brake, left side brake, left side brake, right side brake. Both brakes at once. Then this little pedal down here. Hit that. You can move your steering wheel. Now, you have your horn. My favorite thing, turn singles. Yeah. Uh, that help. This puts, I believe, ether in it. Or something, or heats up the engine. Help start. There's the key. I'm not going to start it. Here is 
what gets you forward and backwards. So you take it out here, forward slow, medium, going down the road fast. Backward slow, medium, pretty much all of it's medium. It doesn't get too fast, but of all our monitors, we have one, two, three, and four monitors, plus a radio or two. Well, there's another monitor, we're up five. So, you have all your controls here. Uh, header up, down, middle, header up a little bit, down a little bit, tilt, tilt, more header options. This is for the reel, or if you have a bean head for the uh, different type of reel. Then you have auger out, auger in, unload auger. Don't know what that is, so hopefully... Ooh, and get out here. Come on. There we go. Of course, the mini fridge down there, which we have loaded up with pop. And, yeah, that's pretty much our overview. The combine. Ow. This door shocked me multiple times today. Uh, yeah. Get down here out face planting. It's always a good thing when you don't face plant. Ugh, downstairs. So yeah, I have a little challenge for you guys. See if you can figure out the end of this joke. How did the farmer catch his wife? I'll say it one more time. How did the farmer catch his wife? Tell me in the comments down the below. Below, I didn't say that very well. But tell me in the comments down below, what do you think it is? And if one of you get it right, you win the game. Right now, don't really have any prizes. You'll get a shout out. There, there's your prize. If you can figure out the end of this joke, first one to do it will get a shout out. If they get by next, no one gets it by the next video, I'll tell you the whole joke. So, it's not a very long joke, so you guys shouldn't have too much trouble. And if you can figure out, I guess you're cheering our farmer. So, and one more thing, I got this new knife, Harbor Freight, no shout outs, or no, uh, no, what's it called? No, I can't remember. No, not unsponsored, that's what it is. But here's my new knife. It's a locking one. Really like this knife. It's really sharp and fits my hand good. So, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Come on. There. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. combine so like subscribe hit the bell icon and see if you can figure out that challenge see you guys later